So we store all the embryos in these little straws right here. Dr. Neil Schrick has performed thousands of embryo transfers with cattle in his time with UT Ag Research. Here embryos, some two decades old, are stored in liquid nitrogen tanks at the Johnson Animal Research Teaching Unit, or JAR-2. For Schrick, this work is all about helping cattle farmers in Tennessee, across the country, and around the world. The producers that I work with range from producers that have five or ten cows to producers that have a thousand, two thousand, three thousand cows. Dr. Schrick is concerned with the reproductive health of our herds. Here he's doing pregnancy checks on cows at the College of Veterinary Medicine Farm. Nearby, students from his reproductive technologies class observe and then also learn to perform the procedure. One way to boost reproductive rates and overall genetics is through embryo transfers. This is a microscopic image of a healthy embryo, but with embryo transfers, there are no guarantees of success. And that's the issue Dr. Schreck and his team of researchers have been studying for several years. We know that with embryo transfer, there's considerable loss. The pregnancy rates are not as good as what you would achieve with a bull or breeding artificially or something of that sort. So we wanted to see if we could improve pregnancy rates and prevent pregnancy loss during embryo transfer that our top producers are using. So how do you protect a tiny, fragile embryo so that it develops and grows? UT Ag researchers are working here with two types of the hormone prostaglandin. Prostaglandin E, which is good, and prostaglandin F2 alpha, which is bad. F2 alpha, its go is to kill. Dr. Schrick and his team of researchers wanted to find a way to keep the harmful F2 alpha from attacking the embryo. They identified what's called a receptor antagonist to prostaglandin F2-alpha named AL8810. UT Ag researchers pre-treat embryos during collection with AL8810 prior to the transfer of the embryo into the uterus of a recipient female. Here the receptor antagonist binds itself to the prostaglandin F2-alpha, creating sort of a bubble wrap type of protection for the developing fetus. What we want to do is when we transfer the embryo into a surrogate or into a recipient, we have to manipulate the track, which causes prostaglandin F2 alpha to be released, and it binds to those receptors on the embryo. This technology started in labs here on the UT Agriculture campus and was further validated with testing at the East Tennessee, Plateau, and Highland Rim Ag Research Centers. All those were involved in that initial what I call grunt work to go on. But again, it was a team. It's a whole team that, that does this. The next step in this process came when Dr. Schreck and his team protected their findings by working with UT's Research Foundation to develop a patent for the receptor antagonist AL8810. Then the private company, Embryo Armor LLC, purchased the license from the UT Research Foundation now making it easier for our cattle farmers to benefit from this remarkable science. What it provides is it provides our producers to, to continue to make these top genetics so that they're having more success transferring and making more embryos, getting more pregnancies, getting more calves from these top genetics that are now going to be accessible more to our producers. Now with the development of this technology, Cattle that used to give birth to one calf per year now may have five to ten calves per year.